This week on Big Boys TV, I'm after my first odd ad in New Mexico with our good friend Sterling Hendricks of Running H Hunts. Like most trips, we arrived to camp, unpacked, and headed to bed because in the morning, the hunt would start. We made it to New Mexico again here on our Aw Dad hunt, and I'm gonna shoot my new Steyr Scout real quick, just to make sure everything's on and all set. Uh, and then we're gonna head out and see if we can't find some uh, Aw Dad. Uh, well, we just shot my new Steyr Scout, um, and pretty dead on. It's about two and a half, three inches high at 100 yards. So that means it should be dead on at what, about 200, 200 yards. Yeah. So um, we should be all set. And of course, we're standing over here shooting the gun. We got a whole, bunch, a whole bunch of mule deer standing up there. We were just here a month ago looking for mule deer. And we couldn't barely find them the first two days. And they're right outside the lodge today. Okay, you already showed the five five pods, yeah. yeah. That's nice, isn't it? And, then, and if your round is uneven, this pivots. Oh, see that's... So if you've got a rock, you need to get that's... up on it. And you can also, you know, if it's already out, you can just hold it like this. Hold it on there. Like, like hand? After shooting the gun, we packed up our gear and headed out to find some odd ads. Heading into this trip, I wasn't sure what an odd ad hunt would consist of, but I quickly found out it wasn't going to be easy. These animals are very sense driven, so their eyesight, hearing, and smell are impeccable. So it was going to be tough to get close enough to one of these animals. Well, we've spotted at least one nice ram in this group, and we're going to just go for a little hike. we got to go over this saddle before we can get to him and get a good eye on him. So hopefully uh, we can get up there, and there's a nice one in there, and hopefully get one on the ground tonight. We were determined to kill a mature Audad, and the four in this group were just too young. Don't go anywhere when we return. I finally get an Audad in my crosshairs. It's our third day here in New Mexico on our Audad hunt, and we just spotted two nice rams way over there. So we're gonna uh, go after them. They look like they're pretty nice ones, so hopefully they're both shooters. But uh, we'll get up there and see what we can see, and hopefully we can get one of them down today. other side where they are so okay. we're just after these rams that we spotted 
down low and we just hiked up here to get a good look see who we can see them but for right now we don't know where they're at but pretty sure they're just over here on this hillside either laying down or just on the other side we'll go right here and we're gonna sit for a minute okay and really look because that you and that lamb are right here okay and if she sees us and spooks then it can it's mess everything up, up. is right here so it seems likely that they're coming right to us but the wind is good the wind is really good we should be able to see them when we crest when we crest the little side right there i'm hoping to see them coming get down to that cedar right there I that little that little cedar is just about right and if they're coming down that next little point like this one yeah. then we should be in the chips but if they're above us then After an exhausting hike, we finally had the odd ad in sight. As we're getting set up, the ram steps behind a bush, so we have to wait till he steps out to get a clear look at him. After what seemed like an eternity, he steps out and I have my crosshairs right on him. But he goes straight away from us and stands under another tree. I can't see behind a tree now, I can't. There she is. She's on the right. Yeah. She's coming up right there. Another five minutes goes by, he steps out and presents me with a shot. Yeah. I don't even see him. I know. You can just see him with your eyes. Okay. Coming down to the other one. Just at the left of the other one. You had your breast, you know? Don't you? Yeah. I'm on him. Let me know before I shoot. Don't run him. Can I shoot him quarter like that? Yep, yeah. Right, right that front shoulder right now. Let me know. How are you? Gotta get. I'm shaking. No. Don't go anywhere. Big Boy TV will be right back. Welcome back. When we left, I had an odd dad in my crosshairs. Let's see what happens next. Don't shoot me. I'm on him. Let me know before you shoot. Still on him. Can I shoot him quarter like that? Yep. Yeah. Right, right that front shoulder ready? right now. Let me know. How are you? Gotta get. I'm shaking. No. Shoulder. Just don't go low. Just super shaky and good. Yeah. Don't risk it. Take your time. Okay. 
Hold on. Huh? He's 27 at best. So, I mean, that's, that's where we're at right now. Well, just as I was about to pull the trigger on this, this here ram, our guide pulled me off because he's only, only about a 27 inch ram. Um, and he doesn't shoot anything under 30 inches. So we're going to let him walk and hopefully we'll find a bigger one here today. He said that, uh, this is a really good spot where we're at and there's lots of sheep in here. So hopefully we can find a 30 inch ram and get a setup on him. But darn, that's a bummer because we spotted him all the way back to the Jeep. And then we walked up here and finally saw these guys and I was on him and then he walked away from us and then he was behind a tree. And then he kind of disappeared and then he came back after I'd unloaded so I reloaded the gun and then I was just getting on him getting myself steady and everything and he said wait he's only about 27 inches so it is what it is so we will continue to hunt and find a bigger ram We were just on the top of this mountain and of course we looked down and all of the odd dead are in the bottom here so we just came back down to the bottom and now uh, we're just hoping that we can get on them we know that there's some nice rams because this is the group we've been seeing uh, so hopefully we can get close enough to get a shot on a nice ram As we were going down the mountain, these rams were coming up. So we jumped behind a bush, and sure enough, these rams walked right by us. They were on top of us, and I was just sitting there waiting for our guy to tell me which one to shoot. None of these rams were mature enough. If I had my PSE, it would have been a different story. But we're still looking for a ram 30 inches or over and these guys just didn't make the cut. Don't go anywhere, Big Boy TV will be right back. And I finally get to take a shot at an Audad on our last day. If you're just joining us, it's our last day to hunt Audad in New Mexico. We've had a lot of stalks and been unsuccessful in finding a mature ram, but it's our last day and we have to make something happen fast. On our last morning, we spotted a decent ram and decided to go after him. We just spotted these rams about 500 yards over there. So we're gonna have to tuck back and try to get around them. So.
right here, set up. Let me see how far they are before they get. Three thirty-eight, so doable. Yeah. We managed to get 338 yards away from these rams, and now it was time to make a shot. And then just about on the top of his back, right up his leg. So are we ready? Put it right on the, his hump, Jada, of his back, and come right down his front leg once he pulls it forward. Is he still 338? Yeah. The bigger ram finally steps away from the other ram, and it was now or never. Just keep on. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I just shot my odd ad, and he's just across over here, and we'll probably get a little close to him and make sure we're all good, and I'm excited to see him. It's been a really tough hunt for the past five days. We have not been seeing a whole lot of odd ad, and uh, probably one of the toughest hunts I think I've ever done uh, when it comes to seeing animals and really getting up on them and stuff, but I'm really happy this isn't the biggest odd ad that he's got up out here, but I'm so happy with it. This is such a uh, different species than what people normally see and so I'm really um, I'm really gonna be happy with it. They're just such beautiful animals and um, I'm just happy to have one around. Hey. Well, we're here in New Mexico with Running H Hunts. I've got Sterling Hendricks with me, and after five days of some tough hunting, we finally got an odd Audad on the ground. I'm really happy with this. It's been a tough hunt, but after five days, we finally got it done. This hunt was probably one of the hardest I think I've ever done when it comes to uh, hiking and not seeing a whole lot of animals. But this is a really unique species. A lot of people don't even know that we have these here in the U.S. Um, so for me to be able to harvest one today was a really great accomplishment. We took pictures, packed the entire Audad back to the truck, and then made some delicious Audad burgers and backstraps for dinner. Is cooking some all dead backstrap next to some ground all dead. Well, we're just trying some of this all dead that he cooked up on the grill. Um, it's really good. Some people say that all dead does not taste very good. Maybe the older ones don't taste very good, but I think this tastes great. That's all the time we have this week. Make sure and stay up to date with everything we do in the outdoors on social media and bigboystv.com. This week on Big Boys TV, TV. Nobody cares if I'm okay, but it makes great footage. Like most trips, like, well, <laughs>